hey guys and welcome to my channel today we're starting off the video with no makeup which is super strange for me because I always start off my videos with the look already done but I don't really know how the look is gonna turn out so today we have a full face of makeup of products that I just don't use whether it's I found something better the products just I just don't know how to use them or I don't know these are just products that I don't use so I think we should just jump on into it and I have like a full basket of makeup I'm just like I don't know where to start I think starting with primer might be the best decision and I'm pretty sure like majority of these products have been featured on my channel. Just I never reach for them. The first one is the Make Cosmetics Make Beauty Moonlight Primer. I'm pretty sure this one is like the black tinted primer. I feel like for like a few months in my Ipsy bag, I was getting like black tinted things. I'm like but here is what the product looks like. So this product is hydrating, but for me, I like a primer that fills in my pores because I do have porous skin, and that's probably why I break out so much. Will I be adding it into the rotation of all my makeup? I don't know. For foundation, I'm not entirely sure if they still sell this because before filming, I went onto Ulta's website to look it up and couldn't find it so I'll try other ones but all the products that I like mention and everything I'll have them listed in the Google Doc that's linked down below with the links of where to buy everything but I feel like this isn't like a super old foundation it's the Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation mine's in the shade Warm Porcelain it's a gel whipped foundation just the way from what I remember the way that this makes my skin look it's not really my favorite it's a pretty thick foundation I don't know if what I applied is too much or too little let's blend out and find out I don't know if you guys will be able to tell but this foundation just makes my skin look cakey you would think with like a hydrating foundation it wouldn't make your skin look cakey and this I'm pretty sure is the lightest shade that they carry and I mean like too dark for me. I don't know if lighting is better like that. Final thoughts on this foundation. I am not adding it back into the rotation of my makeup because it just makes my skin look cakey and it is not hydrating. A soft velvet texture. And I'm not even sure if they even do sell this anymore so I couldn't be like, oh my gosh, like, go out and buy this because I'm really not sure. This primer is it, not a pore filling primer and so like I can still see like all the pores and everything on my skin. May not be picking it up on camera, but I can see it in my mirror right in front of me. A concealer. I have three and one of them I'm not even sure if there's even any and I remember raving about it a few years back and it's the boo boo cover up concealer by boo boo cover up wonder if they just make concealers Ooh, and then we have the urban decay naked skin weightless complete coverage concealer in the shade light neutral this is just straight up way too dark for me, but maybe it'll be a good concealer to like cover up things that the foundation did not fully cover up. The last one is the Nude Sticks Concealer Pencil in the shade Light Number 2. I might start off with the Naked Concealer from Urban Decay to cover up any like blemishes that are still peeking through that concealer is way too dark and now where all my blemishes were i just have like 
dark spots pretty much just from the concealer and so this will not be getting back at it into my everyday or like my makeup rotation only because of the shade other than that it's a pretty good concealer and I remember when everyone was raving about this right before the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer came out. There is like a tiny bit of the Boo Boo Cover Up Concealer. I might do a combination of the Nude Sticks Concealer with Boo Boo Cover Up right on top just to see how it is because I feel like that's what I did beforehand. And this concealer is like my exact shade. Right underneath and blending. So that's a little recap of the skin so far that I may be adding are these two. The New Sticks Concealer and the Make Primer. I'll add them back into my collection and then if I don't use them within like the next few months, they're just gonna get booted. This Boo Boo Cover Up, it's just gone so empty as it goes. The Maybelline Foundation and the Naked Skin Concealer, no. The Naked Concealer is just coloring. It's not suited for me. And this coloring and the way that it makes my skin look, just no. And I remember people like saying that they like this foundation, so it could just be my skin type. Before I sit the face i have two cream products they're both highlights the first one is from trust fund beauty and it's that glow though the stick highlight there is it swatched a lot of these products i don't really reach for just because of the color because i have pretty light skin and actually i think that concealer the naked skin concealer oxidized cool at least we're not going out in this makeup then the next one is from City Color Cosmetics. It's the Glow Duo. You get a cream and a powder. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's right next to the Trust Fund Beauty one. I don't really know how to feel about it. And then like the powder in here. Again, it's really dark for me. Might do like City Color on one side and Trust Fund on the other. Start with Trust Fund on this side. I don't know if it even did anything except for add like darker hue. I don't know, but now I'm gonna do the city color one on this side. So I'm just gonna take the cream on my finger. Out of these two, I would choose the city color one, but even then, not a huge fan of it. And like the feeling, not a huge fan of it. A powder. I feel like I've mentioned this on my channel before. I don't know. I just remember how I felt about it. It's the Maybelline master fix by face studio setting plus perfecting loose face powder it sets mattifies blurs and smooths it's like a very finely milled powder i'm not i'm gonna try to set it with my beauty blender so i just took a flash photo just to see how this makeup looks here's the photo right here we are just looking like a cakey mess and i guess like around my nose it's like separating there's no coverage underneath my eyes whatsoever and that concealer emphasized like my breakouts right here we are not having a good makeup day so far just kind of upsetting because i thought i would like find some products that i would be like Oh my gosh these need to be added to my makeup rotation but i'm not finding any of those which is kind of upsetting for the maybelline powder don't really recommend it but they're new i'm not entirely sure which one it is called but i'll show you guys in an upcoming video of what powder i'm talking about but that powder is the is a better powder from maybelline than this one don't really recommend this Maybelline powder bronzer. It's this duo. I'll have the video linked down below my first impressions of this. Girl, what was I thinking? This is, I believe, the e.l.f. blush and bronzer duo. I think that's what it's called in the shade 
Turks and Caicos. Honestly, like, what was I thinking? The only reason I don't ever reach for this is because of the bronzer. I'm like scared to do this, but do we see this? I don't know what is going on. I don't know if it's that powder that didn't set it quite properly, but it is not blending how it is supposed to. And I know it's not the brush because I use this brush for my everyday bronzer. For blush, I have two different ones. First, is it the blush in here? The Turks and Caicos, which I do really like this blush. It's like a nice natural blush. And then the other one is this blush highlight duo from Ulta Beauty. This is the apricot blush. I might just go for this one in here just because we're already here. So me and that bronzer like maybe it's those cream highlights i mean while we're at it let's just add the ulta one on top let's just move on i'm just gonna move on to highlight i have two three this one in the city color duo not gonna use this just not but the highlights that i do have are from elf and I'm not saying that e.l.f. is a bad brand. So I have quite a few like holy grails from e.l.f. And I'm not saying any of these are bad brands. I just don't reach for these particular products. So don't think I'm bashing on any of these brands. Because I may have a few from a few brands. It doesn't mean that I don't really like it. These products I don't reach for. This one, which I think I like over the two, it's the Highlighting HD Powder in the shade Starlit Glow and the Baked Highlight in Moonlight Pearls. Here's Moonlight Pearls. Starlit Glow is underneath. This one is more of a warm tone. This is more of a cool tone. We'll do one on each cheek. Yes, ma'am. Do we see this glow? Don't mind like the patchiness and everything, but we have a winner, surprisingly. Not a huge fan of the baked highlight, but this HD highlighting powder. Yes. Brow pencil that I have that I'm just like too lazy to go sharpen. It's the Essence Brow Designer. In the shade blonde. Let me just try to sharpen it. Let's try to swatch it. I had to press hard to get that swatch. Let's just try. Because can't screw this makeup up even more than it already is. I think that's the best that this brow pencil is going to do. So this is about as good as the brows are going to get. And yes. I added my jacket on. Eye primers. I have two. This is the other, like, black tinted product from Peak Beauty. It's the black eye primer. I guess if you're going for, like, a smoky look, this would be good. But, like, for an everyday primer, not the best. And then I have the Essence I Love Stage Eyeshadow Base. I'm pretty sure that's what it is called. Again, it's just, like too dark for me. So we're actually going to just combine the two and see how this goes. So I'm first going to use the black primer. Just try and add like a light layer. See so like unless you're used to doing like a smoky eye, this just looks makes you look like you have a black eye or something or like your eye is bruised. I personally just don't get it. So there's the peak one. Add the essence one right on top and I'm going to set it with the Maybelline powder. I don't think I'll be adding either of those primers into my makeup rotation. The essence primer was like in my introduction to eye primers back in, the, back in the day. This one and the NYX one. So I really just think this has to go and the peak one. How often do I do smoky looks on this channel? 
eyeshadows. I have three shadow palettes. One product isn't actually an eyeshadow, but I'll let you guys know when we get to it. First thing is, I don't know if you can actually buy this anymore. The first one is the Ulta Beauty eyeshadow palette. The shade Nearly Nude. I bought it because it looked like the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. It's not like I already have another other neutral palette. Next is this Wet n Wild Color Icon eyeshadow palette in the Naked Truth. If you saw my testing out Wet n Wild makeup, something like that, then you would have seen that I used this. And Wet n Wild shadows are really pretty are pretty good. Actually, I have another eyeshadow palette, one of their 10 shadow palettes that I use sometimes. 2018, I pretty much didn't wear any eyeshadows. So, yeah. And then I have this e.l.f. eyeshadow palette. I think this is the clay one in Necessary Nudes. Can you guys see a trend with these eyeshadow palettes? And yet, I don't use, like, any of them. And they are all pretty good shadows. But then, the other product that I'm, like, using as, like, eyeshadow today, it's the Hikari Shimmer Bronzer in Radiate. When you mix it all together, this is what you get. I personally don't want that all over my face with, like, a shimmer bronzer, because I'd rather just go for a satin bronzer. Um, and this is way too dark to use as like an all over glow, so. As a transition shade, I'm gonna go into the middle shade in the Ulta palette on a Wet n Wild's crease brush. And then on a Bogashi tapered blending brush, I'm gonna go into this shade in the Elf palette on an SL Miss Glam T35% blending brush. I'm gonna go into the definer shade in here. Plus this crease shade, it has gold flecks in it, so. I'm actually gonna use my finger and apply the eyelid shade on my eyelid. For someone who says they like, don't do smoky looks, we're doing a pretty smoky look. Then I might use this deeper brown just on my lower lash line. Going back in with the first shade that we used on like a denser crease brush to blend that out. I'm gonna take the brow bone shade on my brow bone just with my finger and go back in with a blue gashi brush and kind of blend that. With this shade in the e.l.f. palette on the inner corner, and I'm gonna also take this shade right here because I mean like pretty like it's really soft and stuff and I'm just gonna lighten the inner corner up a little bit. I'm gonna go with this this shade on like the center part of the lid. And I think that's where we're gonna stop with our eyes. For eyeshadow, this I will just never use it because I have all these shades and like other palettes. I just don't see the point in keeping it. So that can go bye bye. As for like the wet and wild, again I'll like keep them and just like see if I use them. I don't know, but for mascara, I have the Pink Pewter Mascara. It's a double-ended one, so on this one is the Extreme Volume. And on this one, it's the Curling Mascara. So I think I'll start with the Volume side. I feel like that would be like the only side that I would use. Actually, I'm just going to use like the volume side on this eye and then we'll go in with the curling mascara on the other eye. Honestly, it didn't do anything revolutionary to my lashes, so I'm not keeping it. Lip products. I have three. Um, one is a lipstick. Like, two lipsticks and a gloss. First lipstick is from Revlon. It's in the shade Primrose. It's like baby doll pink. And whenever I wear this, I always think of my aunt because she always wears lipsticks these colors. Next is this bright, like, fuchsia. 
It's the Le Butte Fatale lipstick in the shade Vibrate. And then this gloss is also from Make Beauty in the shade Victoria Plum. I put it right on top, right here. It's a pretty pigmented gloss. I'm going to start with this one to see how it looks. And I've actually never used this lipstick before. It's just been in my drawer. This is a vibrant color. And it's coming off more pink on camera than it is in person. I'm gonna add this gloss on top and just see. So here's one lip option. I'm not 100% loving it. So I'm gonna wipe it off and we'll try this lipstick instead. So I just went and wiped off that lipstick. Now let's apply the Revlon Primrose. That is pink. I'm gonna add the gloss on top because I feel like this would be like the perfect like addition to this lip color. This lip color is better, just not my favorite with this look. So I just fixed my hair just a little bit, just so that way I kind of see like what this full look would look like. So like thoughts on lip colors. This is a no. These two I'll play around with a little bit more just because it was my first time using these. Anyways, if you guys like this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel or give it a thumbs up or both. If you guys have any video requests, you can leave them in the comments down below or at me on my social media, which is all under Sassy Maddie YT, same as both here, both Twitter and Instagram. Also, go check out my brand's Instagram, which is Sassy Beauty, along with go shop Sassy Beauty on Etsy. Everything will be listed in the description box down below, along with a Google Doc of all the products that I mentioned. If you guys want to try them out yourselves, I'll have the link to the Google Doc with the links to it and how much they are and everything like that. Other than that, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.